is the worst fraternity on this campus? Well, that would be hard to say, sir. They're each outstanding in their own way. And I got their disciplinary files right here. Who dumped a whole truckload of fizzies into the swim meet? Who delivered the medical school cadavers to the alumni dinner? Every Halloween, the trees are filled with underwear. Every spring, the toilets explode. You're talking about Delta, sir. Of course I'm talking about Delta, you twerp! This year, it's going to be different. This year, we're going to grab the bull by the balls and kick those punks off campus. What do you intend to do, sir? Delta's already on probation. They are? Yes, sir. Oh. Then, as of this moment, they're on double secret probation. Double secret probation, sir? There is a little known codicil in the Faber College Constitution, which gives the dean unlimited power to preserve order in time of campus emergency. Find me a way to revoke Delta's charter. You live next door. Put Niedermeyer on it. He's a sneaky little just like you, right? The time has come for someone to put his foot down. And that foot is me. That edict is coming from Dean Vernon Wormer and Greg Marmalard, two of the villains that are determined to take out the lovable party animals of this week's film. And what ensues is a legendary, unforgettable comedic gem in film history. National Lampoon's Animal House was released in 1978. It tells the tale of the Delta House Fraternity, a debauchery-filled party house on the fictional campus of Faber College. The Deltas are led by womanizing Eric Otter Stratton, played by Tim Matheson, diplomatic and well-meaning Robert Hoover, motorcycle riding D-Day, booze hound Boone, and freshman Kent Flounder Dorfman and Lawrence Pinto Kroger. But make no mistake, John Bluto Blutarski, played by the late comedy legend John Belushi, is the star of this film. As made obvious in our introductory scene, the college and the Omega fraternity in part will stop at nothing to take out our lovable losers at Delta House. They want to revoke Delta's charter and expel them from the college, and will do it by any means necessary. Rest assured, the Deltas do not back down without a fight, and the results are pure hilarity. First, following being confronted by Dean Wormer, the Deltas decide to have a toga party, and then, at a student hearing, we will hear the fallout from said toga party. Yeah, she broke her date. Washing her hair. Dead mother. We're in trouble. I just checked with the guys at the Jewish house and they said that every one of our answers on the psych test were wrong. Every one? God, look what just creeped in. Well, well, well. Looks like somebody forgot there's a rule against alcoholic beverages. In fraternities on probation. Tool. I didn't get that, son. What was that? I said, uh, what a shame that a few bad apples have to spoil a good time for everyone by breaking the rules. Put a sock on it, boy. Or else you'll be out of here like through a goose. Now, have you boys seen your grade point average yet? Well, have you? I have, sir. I know it's a little below par. It's moment. more than a little below par, Mr. Hoover. It stinks. It's the lowest on campus. It's the lowest in Faber history. Uh, well, sir, we're hoping that our midterm grades will really help our average. <laughs> Laugh now. Because you clowns have been on double secret probation since the beginning of this semester. 
Double secret probation? And that means one more slip up, one more mistake. And this fraternity of yours has had it at favor. <laughs> That was pleasant. Nice of him to stop by, don't you think? We've got to do something. He's serious this time. I think he knows about the exams. He's right. You're right. We got to do something. Absolutely. You know what we got to do? Toga, toga party. party. We're on double secret probation, whatever that is. We can't afford to have a toga party. You guys up for a toga party? Toga! Toga! Uh, yeah, I think they like the idea, Hoof. Oh, Otter, please don't do this. We got news for you, pal. They're going to nail us no matter what we do. So we might as well have a good time. Toga, 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 And now, the student hearing. Robert Hoover will speak on behalf of Delta House. I don't think you can fully judge a fraternity without looking at the positive qualities of the people in it. The Delta House has a long tradition of existence to its members and to the community at large. I think we've heard enough, Mr. Chairman. I was told I'd have a chance to... That's enough. The court will now render a decision. Well, look, you said I could speak. He said that's it! Are you deaf? Let's finish this damn thing. I think it's fair. I'll tell you what's fair and what's not. Leave me! Leave me! Mr. President, do we have to listen to any more of this? Point of parliamentary procedure. Don't screw around. They're serious this time. Take it easy. I'm in pre-law, man. I thought you pre-med. What's the difference? Ladies and gentlemen, I'll be brief. I don't think he's empty. The issue here is not whether we broke a few rules or took a few liberties with our female party guests. We did. But you can't hold a whole fraternity responsible for the behavior of a few sick, perverted individuals. For if you do, then shouldn't we blame the whole fraternity system? And if the whole fraternity system is guilty, and isn't this an indictment of our educational institutions in general? I put it to you, Greg. Isn't this an indictment of our entire American society? Well, you can do what you want to us, but we're not going to sit here and listen to you bad mouth the United States of America. Gentlemen. not walking out on this one, mister. You're finished. No more Delta. You bought it this time, Buster. I'm calling your national office. I'm going to revoke your charter. And if you wise guys try one more thing, one more, I'm going to kick you out of this college. No more fun Hopefully. You now understand that the beloved Deltas are really up against it. They do get back at their oppressors frequently, though, and their hijinks are just uproariously hilarious. In one situation, New Delta Pledge Flounder is assigned by the college's ROTC student leader and member of Omega House, Doug Niedermeyer to clean the horse stables after hours, including the stable of Niedermeyer's beloved horse. That is until Flounder's fraternity brothers, Bluto and D-Day, arrive with an idea to get revenge, and it starts by putting the horse in Dean Wormer's office. Brother D-Day, Brother Bluto! You ain't that yin yang. Who? Oh. Niedermeyer. You hate his guts, right? I guess so. You guess so? Yes, I hate him. I hate his guts. Look, now we have an old saying in Delta don't get mad, get even. Thank you. 
Nice work, team. Good. Come on, let's go. Go. <laughs> He's in there. Oh, boy, is this great. <laughs> now finish it, Flounder. Are you kidding? I never shot anything before in my life. I thought you hated Niedermeyer's guts. I do. And what about that horse? Is there anything in the world you hate as much as that horse? Get it over with, kid. Just blanks, right? in that gun i didn't even point the gun at him there were blanks in that gun maybe he had a heart attack <gasps> while this film has many comedic performances make no mistake about it this is john belushi's film from his comedic nuances that we cannot hear and only see to his line delivery his performance is one of the greatest comedic performances in cinema history to say it is brilliant is an understatement. It is a tribute to the great talent that we tragically lost way too soon. In our final scene, it is up to Bluto to rally the troops after Otter is jumped by the Omegas and the Deltas get word that they are being expelled from Faber College. Looks like I missed something. Yeah, you did. We're all officially kicked out of school. Wormer just got our grades. They kicked us out of school? Huh. That makes sense. Hey! What's this lying around? Well, what the hell is supposed to do, you moron? War's over, man. Wormer dropped the big one. What? Over? Did you say over? Nothing is over until we decide it is! Was it over when the Germans bombed Pearl Harbor? Hell no! Germans? Forget it, he's rolling. And it ain't over now. Cause when the going gets tough. The tough get going. Who's with me? Let's go, come on. Where's the spirit? Where's the guts, huh? This could be the greatest night of our lives, but you're gonna let it be the worst. Oh, we're afraid to go with you, Bluto. We might get in trouble. Well, just kiss my ass from now on! Not me! I'm not gonna take this! Warmer, he's a dead man! Marmalade, dead! Dead. Ludo's right. Psychotic, but absolutely right. We gotta take these bastards. Now, we could fight them with conventional weapons. That could take years and cost millions of lives. No, no, no. No, in this case. I think we have to go all out. I think this situation absolutely requires a really futile and stupid gesture be done on somebody's part. We're just the guys to do it. Let's do it. Do 
not get sad. The Deltas do get their revenge, and it is quite epic. However, to find out how, you must watch this film. This is my favorite comedy of all time, hands down. If, for no other reason, the performance of the greatest physical comedic actor of all time, John Belushi. This film is a painful reminder of the great tragedy that was his death before we could see him achieve even greater stature and make many more amazing performances. This film is good, raunchy fun. The characters are lovable and you find yourself cheering for them even though they really are the epitome of slackers and near-do-wells, they are the endearing underdogs. And that is why we should all love not just Bluto, but all of the Deltas. Next week, join me as we look at the powerful and brilliant film directed by Jane Campion, The Piano. For WMNH and Matt Connerton Unleashed, this has been a classic film review with Eric Pilcher. Supposed to be the song.